at the Gordon Arms in Yarrow on the uh, Scottish borders. Now this is their largest room, it's room number one. As you can see we've got a beautiful, it's king size four poster bed, extremely comfortable. Very nice linen on it, very nice bedding. Very, it's modern yet it keeps in feel with the old style of the inn because um, I think it's 1600s this inn and it's got a lot of history towards it but it's a lovely lovely size room. The thing is this lady, the landlady here, she goes to the extremes with beautiful little fresh flowers, tissues, nice little tea tray. It's extremely comfortable. Again, fresh flowers, everything you could wish for really. Uh, we go into the bathroom. It's very, it's a nice size bathroom, not large. Again, fresh flowers. Um, it's a spa bath, beautiful shower. Everything you could want, plenty of blue roll tissues. It's just beautiful. Yes, yeah, so last night we had, um, we arrived here uh, about five o'clock yesterday afternoon. This area, there is a lot of walking. Um, it's near Selkirk. A lot of hills to climb, forests to scramble. We stopped at a reservoir, had a quick look around. A little town, market town of Moffat, I can highly recommend. Lovely little market town. Beautiful pubs, shops, people who want to talk to you. A really, really nice atmosphere. Very relaxed. Um, the, the, there was one little downside for me. Piping hot day yesterday. They've got a little garden. They haven't been here very long. Got a little garden. There's no furniture in it, so we couldn't sit out. So we sat in a very nice, comfortable bar. I dare say by... Uh, late summer, they'll have sorted that. They'll have tables and chairs out in that garden, so it'll be no problem. Um, it, the menu last night is lovely. The chef here, her husband, the landlord and landlady, he makes everything homemade. We had beautiful food last night, absolutely beautiful. And it didn't cost um, a London bank balance. It was three courses for £36. John and I had the uh, lobster linguine and there was a supplement of £4 each on that, which was uh, totally acceptable for fresh lobster and it was absolutely beautiful. Desserts, be we couldn't fault the meal. Uh, even really good coffee. We are, well, I particularly are very fussy about my coffee. Um, and it... It was beautiful and it was served with homemade shortbread, which was flipping delicious. In fact, if I could buy that shortbread, I would. <laughs> so it's been a very pleasant stop here. Um, this is their largest room, as I said, and I think we paid 150 for the night. So for the two of us, and we're going down to a Scottish breakfast, which I'll get a picture of when we're down there. Uh, we have absolutely no complaints. We would happily come here for a couple of nights and adventure around the area. They do also serve lunch here. So although this is not a hotel, it's a restaurant with rooms. They are actually open on the lunchtime. So if, say, you were staying two nights, you could have your breakfast, pop out, do some touring, come back and serve lunch between 12 and 3. So it's covered. Um, it's a very nice place. And now I'm going for breakfast, folks. Catch you very soon. Just had a beautiful Scottish breakfast and just also had a tour of the, basically the full place with the landlady Oksana. She is absolutely such a warm, friendly person. Talking about the breakfast though, it was superb. Uh, eggs came from the neighbours just down the road, beautifully cooked. John's poached eggs were perfect, bacon, I couldn't fault any of it. Um, the orange juice was fresh orange juice. The coffee was superb. Um, I ate far more than what I normally do. Couldn't fault it at all. And it was great to talk to Oksana because she explained, I've mentioned to you it, in the beginning of the clip that there was no seating, but I felt sure the way this place has been developed, that they're in the process of doing all that. I was absolutely bang on. They've only been here 12 months. My God, they're transforming the place. We've met the guy, we just met the guy downstairs who's made this, all this furniture. Um, and what they're doing for the garden sounds fantastic. They're making like a magically lit fairy garden with a seating area for pre-dinner drinks and it's just going to be amazing. And she's also shown the kitchen veg garden, which is developing and she took us into, uh, they have a private dining area, should you want to have a party here. 
um, that was 16 to 20 that fit in that room with its own log burner. Oh, my God, what a place for a Christmas party. Definitely going to bring my brother back here. Um, it's just wonderful. And the very fact is that um, we met a husband who was also the chef, fabulous chef too. And, it's just, you know, they took us through the kitchens. Everything's open for you to see. Um, it's just so well run. And also, I, th I forgot to mention that she has um, these lovely fragrances floating around the hotel. Uh, the, not the hotel, the restaurant with rooms. To me, this is like a hotel, but it's not. It's officially, it's a restaurant with rooms. And um, the, it's just got these lovely, just gentle, not overwhelming heavy things, but just gentle floral fragrances drifting around. And they're not plug-ins either, you know. It's it's really nice. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful stay. I'm kind of sad that we're only here for one night and we're about to check out. Very special people, make everybody feel welcome. So if you're coming up to the borders, you want somewhere to stay, and she explained, we're right, this um, actual um, build property <laughs> is right in the middle of your main area to tour around. There's so much to see, Flores Castle, loads of castles, loads of walking. Just so much to do. Uh, beautiful market towns. So get yourself up to the Scottish borders. Come and have a Scottish welcome. It's well worth it. See you soon.